Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I have another declutter video. So I'm going to be sharing a few products that are leaving my collection. I like to film these every month or two. So I just have an opportunity to go through my collection and grab out anything that I realize I'm not using so that I can give it a new home before it goes bad. So also before we get in, if you're interested in this makeup look, I did just film it. It should be up already. It's a fun monochromatic springy peach look, but let's go ahead now and hop into the declutter. Okay. So in this declutter, I focused pretty heavily in my lipstick drawer because if you've been keeping up, I have been reorganizing my makeup drawers. I've reorganized my foundation and base drawer, and then I've reorganized my like powder products, when I say powder products, I mean like blush, bronzer and stuff. And the one drawer that needs a makeover is still my lip product drawer. So I decided to go through it today and really pull as much out of it as I could. So I am decluttering mostly lip products in this video, but let's start off with the products that aren't lip products. So first is this foundation from Becca. It's their ultimate complexion cov no. Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. Now, the reason I'm deciding to declutter this is because I am working hard on my ranking series. If you guys have been keeping up, I've been doing a series ranking every product in every category. And I recently posted my foundation ranking. And in that video, I put this as my lowest foundation. And it just made me realize that I don't get half as excited to reach for this as I do for anything else in my collection. And I've been holding on to it because there are some days that I wear it and I'm like, oh, this is beautiful. I really enjoy this. But I shouldn't just hold on to something that I'm not frequently reaching for, especially if it's my least favorite, just to maybe wear it every once in a while. And it's just so rare that I'm reaching for this. I want to declutter it. So what I said in that video and how I feel about the finish of it, it's just very heavy on the skin. It looks very makeup-y, pretty cakey, and it just... It's heavy and it's very, very yellow. So for that reason, I'm going to declutter it. Next, I'm decluttering a brow product. This is from Billion Dollar Brows and it's their Brow Butter in the shade Blonde. And I don't mind this. I feel like when I use it, I can... Okay, let me say, let me back up. You know how you have those products that some days you have a good brow day with and some days you don't, you just never know what you're gonna get? That's kind of how I feel with this. I don't think that it's the easiest to use. I don't think that it stays in place as well as it should for a pomade. And I just find that I tend to have a lot of bad brow days when I am using this. And it's not that it's too intense and too bold on the brows. It's just that the texture of it isn't quite right. And I personally prefer pencil products. That's what I'm usually reaching for to do my brows. And it's funny because most of the brow products that I've tried from Billion Dollar Brows, I don't like. I think that they just don't work for me and they don't work for my brows. I think there are a lot better options out there at a more affordable price. But oddly enough, I do enjoy the brushes from this brand, just not the brow products. All right, next one is kind of a lip product, kind of a skincare product. This is a lip exfoliator. This is from e.l.f. It's just called their lip exfoliator. And I'll be honest, I just don't love exfoliating lip products. I find that they don't work as well as if I were just to take a rough surface like um, a washcloth and scrub that onto my lips. I find that to be more effective than a product like this. And then I find like I'm eating this and I would just rather not use lip exfoliating products. How and also, I just received this one from Bite. At the time I'm filming this, I haven't tried it. It's their weekly scrub, and it's supposed to be one that you're only supposed to use like once a week, and it's nourishing and whatnot. So once I received that, that was what did it for me. I was like, you know what? I can get rid of this e.l.f. one. I don't even like it. I'm just holding on to it because I feel like I have to keep a lip scrub, and I don't even really like lip scrubs. All right, now onto the lip products, which will take up the rest of this video. But first, I'm decluttering three lip liners. The first one is actually a Kat Von D lip liner, and this is the shade Lolita. And the reason I'm deciding to declutter this is because I have a shade in my collection that's so similar to this. It's the shade Sand Beige from NYX, and they're basically exact dupes. They're Sand Beige. It's just a hair darker, and I would just feel more comfortable keeping this NYX one in my collection than Kat Von D. So because they're pretty much dupes, I would rather get rid of this one. I'm also decluttering this lip liner from Ofra because it's terrible. This is the shade Delicious Red. And I'm hopeful that they have reformulated since this time because I got this years and years ago in a BoxyCharm and I was holding on to it because I was like, oh, I need a red lip liner. 
Well, no, all my red lips are liquid lipsticks, so I really don't need to keep a red lip liner, and I do have another one, so I don't need to keep this. I hope they have reformulated since this time, but if they haven't, I don't recommend these. They flake, not flake, they feather terribly. One time, it's funny, I had a friend borrow this on a day she was wearing a red lip, and I was, I, I said to her, like, you know that your lipstick is really feathered right now, and she was like, is it? I used your lip liner and it was this one. And then I'm decluttering this from Essence. I actually do really enjoy this, but I have other lip liners that I'm mostly reaching for over this, so I figured I could pass it on. The shade is called Satin Mauve. So there's the swatch of it. I bought this a few years ago at like the hype of the Kylie Jenner lip product and lip liner trend and I remember seeing in an article saying that this was kind of similar to like that signature lip color she was wearing that everyone wanted to get and I mean it is similar but I hardly ever reach for it anymore it's a nice lip liner for the price it's only about a dollar or two but it's a little bit drying and I have others from NYX or Koki that I prefer I'm also decluttering this red from Sigma so this is the shade Venom this is from their holiday collection and it's a red liquid lipstick and I wanted to keep this because I really like red liquid lipsticks I have a lot of red lipsticks and they're all basically the same color or just close enough that I don't need to keep all of them so I was like okay which of these are you gonna get rid of which of these formulas is your least favorite? And it's probably the Sigma one. This is just a little bit too drying for my preference. And the formula of this is kind of more of a dated liquid lipstick formula. I feel like these days brands are coming out with ones that are just a little bit thinner and more comfortable. This is very cakey. It emphasizes the lines on my lips and it just looks very unnatural. So I'm decluttering Venom. Now the last three are actually formulas that I love but I either don't love the color, actually all these I do like the color, but I'm not using it enough to keep it. So let's start with this one from Physicians Formula. This is a little mini in the shade Dose of Rose. Oh, as I'm swatching it, I'm like, really? Maybe you should keep that, that's so pretty. <laughs> mm. And it is so pretty, but I never reach for this, so I need to declutter it. Also from Wet n Wild, I love this formula. This is one of their liquid catsuit high shine lipsticks. So this is not their original formula that's matte. This one is very, very glossy. And this is from the Rebel Rose collection and the shade is called Bud Romance. And this one is just a very, very gray color. And it looks super purple gray when I swatch it there, but when you wear it on the lips, you can see a little bit of your lip color coming through it. So it's not as cool toned, but it is still pretty dark and pretty cool toned on me and I don't prefer lips like that. I have had one look where I wore it and I liked it, but I don't see myself reaching for it enough to justify keeping it. And then the final one, I love this formula, but I don't use colors like this a ton, so I'm going to be decluttering the shade Chai from Bite Beauty. I think I've worn this once. This is from the Sephora birthday gift from last year. There's the color, you know, it's pretty, but I have a few others in my collection that are similar. Let me swatch it a little bigger so you can see. So there's that, but I do have colors in my collection that are similar enough that it doesn't make sense for me to keep this when this type of color is just not my favorite to apply. But that's gonna go ahead and complete this declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing a few products that are leaving my collection. I will be filming, of course, another one of these in a month or two, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.